Within the Legend of Zelda series, there are many things puzzling fans that scream out for an explanation from an expert. Well, I happen to be that expert. I've explained many things about the Zelda series, including the Master Sword, Zant's neck crack, and other things, among other things. But I think it's time to tackle yet another popular puzzling element of the series, and that is the Divine Prank in Twilight Princess. Now before I get into the explanation, if there's any puzzling elements in the Zelda series that you guys want me to break down for you, please leave a comment in the comment section below and engage the video. Alright, let's get into it. So what exactly is the Divine Prank? Well, in one of the backstories in Twilight Princess, we see Ganondorf's attempted execution at the Arbiter's Grounds by the hands of the Six Sages. Execution via sword through the chest. And let me tell you, that didn't work out so well. So what the Sages thought was supposed to be a clean execution turned out to be way more than what they bargained for. Ganondorf survived the execution thanks to the Triforce of Power, which grants him a measure of invulnerability. When the Sages saw Ganondorf had been blessed with the power of the gods, they referred to the whole ordeal as some divine prank. I mean, of course they would. Why would Ganondorf, the Lord of Darkness, King of Evil, all around bad guy, blah blah blah, would have the Triforce of Power? They didn't know, but we do! This question is actually answered in another game, with that being Ocarina of Time, but it does go a bit deeper than that with some supporting elements. See, the way the Triforce works is that the Triforce being made of three parts, power, wisdom, and courage, will stay intact for those who claim it as long as that person has a balanced heart containing the three virtues. However, if your heart is not in balance, the Triforce will then split and you will only keep one part of the Triforce based on the virtue that your heart represents the most, with the other two pieces fleeing to the two people in the whole wild world that represents the respective virtues the most. In the case of Ocarina of Time, when Gandorf tried to claim the Triforce, he only got stuck with the Triforce of Power, and the other two pieces went to Link and Zelda as the Triforce of Courage and the Triforce of Wisdom respectively. Now here is where things get a little tricky. So with the case of Twilight Princess, this game takes place in the child timeline. Okay stop, people say the timeline split is BS, but we wouldn't be able to explain this without it, so i just like to point that out. Okay resume. As this game takes place in the child timeline, this is after Link returns to his original time to warn Zelda about Gandalf's plotting and, you know, get him executed. But the kicker is that they all may have forgotten that Link returned to the past with his Triforce of Courage still intact. And since the Triforce is a force of the gods that transcends space and time, Link having one part of it in that time triggered the split of the Triforce in that time. They just didn't expect it to fall upon Ganondorf. However, since he is the one that truly represents power in the Zelda series, he got the Triforce of Power. Also, as evident in Ocarina of Time, the wielder of a Triforce piece can be unaware that they hold one until the piece decides to awaken and reveal itself, as Link isn't informed that he has had the Triforce of Courage the entire time of Ocarina of Time since Ganondorf was let into the Sacred Realm. So, Ganondorf in the time of Twilight Princess was also unaware of his Triforce piece until it was time to dodge that ultimate price. Furthermore, in Hyrule Historia, there are two excerpts that can confirm this. One is on page 110, which says that due to Gandorf being sealed in the Dark Realm at the end of Ocarina of Time along with the Triforce of Power, the Triforce could not be recompleted and the other two parts had to remain with their chosen wielders. And two, on page 113, it states that Ganondorf in the Child Era did indeed wield the Triforce of Power without even entering the Sacred Realm and was able to do so because Link, returning from the future, wielded the Triforce of Courage. It is also because of this that Gandorf could not fully obtain the entire Triforce for his own with his original plan anyway. So the long and short of it is that when your heart isn't in balance and you try to claim the Triforce, it splits with the other two parts going to the people that represent that virtue the most. Since Link already had the Triforce of Courage as an adult in Ocarina of Time, he returned to the past with it and that triggered the split in that time with the Triforce of Power falling to Ganondorf since he represents power the most in Hyrule, which also saved him from his execution at the hands of the sages, who then called the whole ordeal the divine prank due to their sheer disbelief and lack of understanding on the full situation. And there you have it, the divine prank. Not so much of a prank, is it? Well, that's what they want to call it. I hope you guys learned something new, and be sure to check out my other info videos. Don't forget to comment on something that you want to explain in the future, and subscribe to HMK for more Legendary Zelda content. Until the next one, I've been HMK, 
Check you guys later.